I have been working since about March 22nd, so coming up on three weeks, about 10 to 14 hours a day, seven days a week, making masks. So I have a sewing school and now because we are on lockdown and my business, my, my store and the sewing school is temporarily closed, um, I have all of these sewing skills and I thought, you know what, I can really get involved and help make masks for this challenge. So the Million Masks Challenge is a challenge that's been set out online for home sewers and anybody with a sewing machine to make a homemade cotton mask. Um, usually they've asked for um, home sewers to make a mask with a filter in it because this is a little bit more protective and it is a substitute for maybe a more official mask to um, help everybody in need until we have more supplies. So a medical grade mask such as an N95 mask for example um, will reduce up to 95 or 97 percent of droplet transmission from person to person whereas a cotton homemade mask whether it's 100 percent cotton or a t-shirt fabric that someone is making their mask from it will help reduce transmission from person to person and it has been proven that a homemade mask is better than no mask at all. I have a couple of different designs of masks that I'm using. Um, there's a typical accordion mask, which has a pleated fabric, or there is another mask which is a more structured shape that fits snugger around the face. So for, for the mask that I'm donating, I'm making a um, accordion style, and it's a cotton fabric. I cut it 20 centimeters by 36 centimeters. I serge the short ends. I sew in with a zigzag stitch. I sew in a, a wire, which means that the nose pinching area can be more snug on around the nose and face. Um, and then I seam them together, pleat the fabric and either use elastic straps that I can go around the head or some cotton bindings to finish the edges and allow the wearer to actually tie them in place around the back of the head and the back of the neck. Um, if you're at home and you want to get involved and you're in the community, you can pick up a kit from a front door, sew the masks at home and drop them back to us when they're complete. Each kit has pre-cut supplies and an instruction pack and they will be added to the other masks that we've made here at the studio and donated to whomever need them. Um, so I'm donating um, a lot of my masks to the Michael Garin Hospital, it's our local hospital here on the East End and they have a drive to have a thousand masks made by home sewers per week um, and I've also donated a lot of masks to St Mike's Hospital and then um, to cover the costs I guess of our, our store and all of our overheads during this lockdown I am making masks available to the public um, through our website.